No question, anglers are impressed with giant sport fish like the white sturgeon. Meanwhile, largemouth bass continue to be North America's most popular sport fish. Nothing, though, seems to draw a crowd from a distance like the giant white crappies that swim in Mississippi reservoirs, especially our destination today, Grenada Lake. And folks, we're on what I consider to be the most famous crappie lake in the world, and we're here absolutely, as far as I'm concerned, during prime time, just because this is the peak of the spring, it March is. 31st. It is. This is the thick of it, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is the best week right here. It's the magical week. And we are one of the best on the lake for sure, uh, guide Brandon Fulgham. And so we're started. Beautiful female. You can see how thick that fish is across the tummy right there. And this is spawning time. We're getting right into it. Just a little quick tour of that fish right there. This is just your average, you know, right around two pound female here on Grenada Lake. She's, uh, she's pretty swole up with the eggs right now. She's about ready to bust. And so how much weight do you think they gain in the spring? You think they gain 20%? I'd say at least 20%. Beautiful in the sunshine. There you go. Got him. Ready. Wow. Go ahead, you can take that one. Nicely, nicely done. Get this back down in there. And what I want to show people here very quickly is that we've talked about spider rigging a lot over the years and showed you how to do it, but we want to show you once again how we're set up here because this is just classic wherever you're going to spider rig type stuff here. So you end up covering a swath of about 32 feet across. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow, beautiful. They're just incredible fish. So what we're what we're basically doing here is we're we're spider rigging with 16 and 14 foot poles, and uh, the water's so shallow. And there's so many stumps in this area that it'd be hard to double minnow rig through these stumps. So all we're doing is we're taking a quarter ounce jig head with a uh, with a jig and tipping it with a minnow, and we're just pushing it real slow through here. And uh, those females that are sitting on these stumps and sitting on the stumps under the water that you can't see, they're just popping it. It's the most efficient fishing system for crappies that I've ever seen, for sure. You've got a total of eight rods out, two people, and you're covering a swath in front of the boat here of about 32 feet. An incredible, an incredibly efficient system. Nice, nice, nice. Nice fish again. That's the one thing about this. You got such nice average fish. Look at that. They're just so beautiful. Boy, you ate it good too. Yeah, dude. Wow. Yeah. So I, I think a lot of people. They know about Grenada in the springtime. You know, and you start in February, and the spring season is really right into, you know, like middle about April. About the second week of April. Yeah. But we were here last July, and it's fan, I mean, you got 10 months of fantastic fishing. Yeah, we had a great trip in July, all the way through, all the way through November. November is just great fishing. Uh, June, July, and August are my most favorite months out of the whole year to fish. Yeah, and it's not like it's so busy like it is now in the no, spring. No, so. it's not. This is... Just as beautiful as those other fish, just an incredible fish. And look at the mouth on those things. They can eat some big minnows, that's for sure. You got him? Ooh, nice one too. There we go. Nice job. Wait till you see this one. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. Beautiful. I tell you. Another big female. Well, that's what we come down here for. Just beautiful fish. I'll get you a little line, a little extra line here. It's oh. Oh. Get that out of there. Pretty. There we go. I'll set that down. Put this down. As you can see, the system with all the stumps can be a little bit like a madhouse from time to time, but that's what you come here for. What an incredible fish. They're just world class right there. And perfect timing this year. 
Yep. With the, not, you know, most of the fish that we've got today haven't spawned. And Brandon Fulgham, I'll tell you what, crappie are uh, Grenada Lake crappie guides, right? <laughs> yes, sir, Grenada Lake crappie guides. And how many trips a year do you think you do? Uh, I've been pretty close to 300 a year myself. Wow, that's yes, unbelievable. Yes, and then you do some duck hunting and you yep, name it, you're yep. an outdoorsman for yes, sure. Yes, sir. Well, I tell you what, look at that incredible fish. Great end of the day, lots of fish and some big fish too.